All right, hello, hello. So first things first, I'm gonna see what sign, what planets, what we're dealing with. Oh, Saturn under there. So possibly Capricorn or just the planet of Saturn are feeling restricted, but it's in reverse. So maybe like releasing restrictions. Aries, okay, Aries, Capricorn, both came in reverse. Hmm, so I'm shuffling it. So maybe you're dealing with that or that fire energy or earth energy. Um, but I'm going to see just one, two came up too. Okay. Virgo Libra. So maybe you've been dealing with cusp energies. I see six, seven, maybe you'll get this. That's tomorrow. Maybe I won't get this uploaded till tomorrow. So you could have this, you could be a cusp sign. You could be a Libra dealing with a Virgo. Okay. So Virgo Libra, it looks like we're getting two signs in here. So maybe dealing with, um, Capricorn or releasing restrictions uh kind of not following rules even um or um and not having any passion even though like not being risky hmm or you're done with aries capricorn or you have that in your chart okay underneath here i see there is aquarius energies all in reverse though the 11. so this might be dealing with your home your family um online communication even um in the gemini season the 13 right the fours so dealing with your home your family your roots foundation that's what i see so i'm just gonna randomly pull cards see virgo libras here we go so this is about your day-to-day -day life you know what i mean so the way the numbers are on this is, is your zodiacal uh you know your house let's see uh libra with the seventh house partnership for me, seven is also an inner transformation, but it's working things out. It's all balancing everything, head and heart, and being neutral even. Um, and then Virgo is about the details and paying attention to, you know, uh, the daily life, things we do on a daily, <laughs> right? Like uh, our to-do lists, uh, our health. We all eat. We all sleep. We all do some type of work or chore, regardless of whether you go outside of the home and work. We all have to do some type of work, sleep, eat, balance daily. So these are things that people outside, like uh, on social networking and people long distance or friends and family, aren't privy to a lot of these little details and the stuff we do like that. Keeping things balanced. Okay. Um... So crystals, I'm starting with crystals with this one, the brand new crystal deck I just barely opened, uh, the stone deck, and sodalite. So that was what was sitting up on top, and this is about that communication. I see the big full moon, so maybe even just you could have the moon in Virgo or something like that, and it doesn't have to be that, but a lot of emotions and communicating, the moon blue calcite dreamy calming blue calcite is the fresh from the meditation retreat vision board making hippie of the calcite family who needs it people who stare up at the ceiling worrying about the future at 3 a.m oh my gosh you guys waking up at 3 a.m worrying about your future <sighs> what and watching tarot <laughs> anyways just kidding put it on your bedside table so blue calcite calming when stress is the enemy freaking out is not a prerequisite for accomplishment deadlines aren't death sentences stress will extinguish your creativity and crush your dreams if you let it calm on calming focused energy of blue calcite to remember to remind you to put stress in its place far away from the joy of the process and delay of dreaming big act on your dreams so so much about that that blue so there's that pisces energy too those dreamy qualities that neptune um but the communication even acting on your dreams mm. helping you release the anxiety making a vision board even maybe you guys enjoy doing something like that okay emerald dang this is so random okay libras and virgos i want to talk to you about health and fitness I'm going to talk to you about beach body. Beach body. I know there's the other ones and stuff like that, but they have the different levels of the coaching levels. You know, like emerald, ruby, uh, diamond. Anyways, but 
I participated in that back in the day. And I mean, I made it to diamond level, but whatever. Uh, but the emerald, but part of doing that was vision boarding what we wanted, you know, and then it, the day to day life and following the dead, like making a plan. There's so much Virgo energy with that. So getting up and making a plan, knowing what you have going on, what your free time is, planning out even your meals and meal prepping and things like that. Okay, so I'm bringing that up because Emerald under there reminding me of that because there's a there's this achievement that's also part of it and it's healing. That is the weirdest piece of Emerald I've ever seen. But okay, that's what the picture looks like. Point your heart towards grace. What is it? One of the four precious gemstones, emerald, radiates with a wet, lush, verdant energy. Historically, emerald is associated with the love, beauty, and sex. So if you're into any of that, you might want to associate yourself with this saturated green gem. Hmm. Aesthetics, ath you know what I say, bohemians, aesthetics, I can't say that. Aestheticians, transcendentalists, epicureans, okay. Uh, on a chain over your heart or on a ring at the base of your left thumb, the Venus mount, a thumb ring. Hmm. Interesting. When to use it? When you're temporarily lost the courage to love and be loved. When you're in need of a total refresh, open your heart to limitless possibilities with Emerald. There's the limitless thing again, like Libras in the limitless. Hmm. Aestheticians. That's all about beauty. Uh, so interesting. Very Libra-ish too. Mm. And the Venus. I find that fascinating, Emerald. So what is Emerald's birthstone? Isn't that like Taurus or Gemini or something? It's May? Hmm. So in another book that I read regarding like, you know, healing and past life and stuff like that, uh, if you're into that and, you know, whatever. It's fascinating to uh, think about these things, but it, it's supposed to be able to help you connect with a past life of being an, a, a nutritionist, a medicine healer, a doctor, nurse, whatever. Medicine. Healing. Hmm. Crystal Cola. Okay, so those were just flowing out, but I'm going to get, so those were just on the top. I'm going to get one for each. So specifically Virgo 747. Ooh. Okay. I'm shuffling them finally. I see crystal cola and quartz, so even magnifying the greens and blues. A lot of greens and blues for Virgo Libras. Okay, specific crystal for Virgo, just Virgo. Well, I'm not gonna give you all of these, but the blues again. So this one is probably the sodalite, and that's what I thought. No, this one kyanite. Okay, okay. See, they can all look so similar, so you have to pay attention to the little details of it. Mm -hmm. Blue kyanite is also calming, deep in your perspective. Blue kyanite forms in long, striated columns. Its heaty vibe makes it a mindful choice for 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the afternoon meditation set. The perpetually restless are those who need it. Put it on your bedside table or wherever you're going to sleep. When to use it? When you find yourself drowned out by the mental noise. Even the greatest thinkers need to be reminded. Thoughts are thoughts. Reality is reality. You can deal with it like an anxious chihuahua or you can get down with the kyanite. Get down with the sickness. Just kidding. Get down with the kyanite and align to the moment with your calm and cool intact. Mm. Um... I believe it's also something that can help with cleansing the other crystals and stones that might hold negative emotions, you know, like the black tourmalines and things like that. Whatever. Quartz is as well. That is so many. So I'm sorry, but I'm not going to have to look forward for these later on. I'll flow through them, but I'm not going to read the entire cards. Okay, Virgos. Azurite. Ooh, beautiful blues. More blues for you. All about the blues. Looks like a, there's some yellow in there too more about this one the soda light. nope lapis lazuli soda lights up next so we definitely a lot of the blues the communication the calming even with libra energy i saw that one at first i actually thought that's what that was there's the soda light deepen your intuition
Mm. Poor man's lapis. Salty. Okay, now we're moving. There's a purple one here. Sugar light. Moving to the crown, right? An amethyst or ametrine. Amethyst. Like I said, I'll read these again in another time, but I want it to keep time shortened i'm just focusing on those few to share amitrine libra it was saying that libra is especially like amitrine or it's one it's your card for balance so um i i do so much it's citrine and and uh amethyst hmm fluorine what it Ooh, okay that's interesting i don't know this one moonstone that's the weirdest moonstone i've ever seen Find your natural rhythm. That looks like amber to me. Amber, yep, okay. And some Libyan tectite. Oh, Libyan tectite. Recharge your good vibes. So now we moved into some golds for you. Banish your blahs. <laughs> okay, those are fun. Um, so I, I think some of those are probably definitely for Libras too. I'm going to put them underneath the deck, and now I'm going to switch to the Libras 11 at 25. Let's get a few crystals for the Libras in particular. All right, I'm finally shuffling them. They were in such a pretty rainbow when I first got them, and I was like, oh. But you know what? That's how the red is spotlighted. Okay, but I'm going to see for Libras. Just a couple. Okay. No way. Guess what, Libras? It's opal freaking imagine that you know what i have to show you this i think it's underneath here opal envision the future opal so i'm gonna start pulling the other cards too okay libras also virgo's right if you're still watching that's totally cool fill all your fills opal Ooh, i love it there's so much water and fire with that my favorite opal definitely my favorite opals are well hydrated amorphous mineraloids precious opals are lusted after for their rainbow sparkle aka the diffraction common opals form in a range of colors and can deliver sensations that are anything but common so who needs it the all black wardrobe set can benefit from black precious opals bold pop of color and spiritual protection not so prolific artists can ride fire opals burn hmm general rule here is white and blue vibes with the head pink vibes with the heart and black vibes with the lower abdomen when to use it when you have something that needs to get moving a project a relationship an energetic block even like i said so i'm just giving you that one in particular and we're gonna jump all the way down to this because i saw this under the deck before i started there's also ooh, the mushrooms as well bleeding tooth Libras, you got some dental stuff going on. <laughs> Seven, 34, stagnation. This is being stagnant and not moving. Look, the flow, envision the future. So because that was there, I'm going to continue this with Libra. It will also, no way. I saw both of these and time, distill yourself. So I'm also a Libra, Libras, okay? <laughs> I actually, a Libra Ascendant and Sun. Taurus Moon, in case you care. Mercury is Scorpio. Eh, I can't remember. Oh, Venus is also Libra. I have like a stellium in my first house or something. Anyways, envision the future. Precious opal. Wow, so I did say it like I saw the the red stone, right? But I think it was more of like big spike or something. But there's also garnet right under here. Lessons in blood. So something about the blood. Libra. <gasps> Taking the time to envision the future. This helps give the passion even. You see the water, the depth. So even though Libra is an air sign, this helps give that fire and that water quality, like the dreaminess, Pisces, right? Um, the fire, like Aries, the joyfulness, even Leo. 
Sagittarius, the curiosity, the adventure, and Virgo, Virgo, like that's with the details. So you got the lessons in blood too. Okay, that was under there. Lessons in blood. Alamandine garnet. The red and green. The tree. So staying grounded even. Okay, I'm not taking that because that was just under there if it wants to still come out and then distill yourself now both these i would and amber got spotlighted right especially dealing with virgo dang maybe someone's name is amber or but that is also like a pause it's kind of like sometimes virgo energy or pisces energy seems to be like a standstill like a cocoon energy even um like with amber like the rock being paused in time. <laughs> the maze. Distill yourself. So I like that, that we're getting both herb and crystal for the Libras especially. So Virgos, if you're still watching or whatever, don't worry. I'm going to give you these as well. But, but Amber got spotlighted and I feel like it goes with the Virgo energy. But I'm just going to show you. What are you becoming? What are you becoming? Envisioning the future. The maze. You always come back to the center. It's like the roots. The blood. The garnet. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to shuffle it. That's just so weird. That those still... Those are the same ones. So I have, like I said, I've mixed up the, the rocks and the crystals. From the herbary and the crystallary. All right, so one more for Libras, maybe. Ooh, I got to split these decks because that's a lot of cards. Okay. Remembrance. Rosemary. Mmm. Rosemary. And I'm sending by the Virgo for some reason. This one's still sticking out, so I'm giving you... Is this mine? Green Florey. Okay, this makes me... This takes me back to a different video. One when I first started doing these ones. And there was really tapping into the emotions of things and if it's truly yours you take in a lot of stuff throughout your day on the internet from other people while you're traveling around green fluorite for me is also it's green so it's about your heart but it's supposed to help with vertigo um dizziness dizzy spells dude i had a dizzy spell today Labors, you have dizzy spells <laughs> remembrance hmm Rosemary and thyme. It's very interesting. Okay, so I'm just going to take those and grab the book for... There's a remembrance regarding Virgo, even. Libras, what is this about? Mm. <coughs> All right, rosemary, raspberry, and red clover. Here we go. 28. Let's see the number. 6, 28, 10. Hmm. Rosemary is the smell of deja vu and the afterbreath of nostalgia. Her gift is the faint scent that teases and vanishes, leaving you longing for something you can't quite name. And with memories that crest and crash, pulling you gasping into their undertow. Oh my gosh, like everything is making me think of Tool, okay? The band. An undertow, uh, the album, but maybe the song, but there's a song Sweat. And it's like, seems like I've been here. Like, as he's talking about that, it's like he's having deja vu. And that deja vu, hmm, something you can't quite name. And with memories that crest and crash, pulling you gasping into their undertow. In Victorian times, Rosemary was said to say, remember me. This is but a small part of her magic. Rosemary can ease remembrance, softening sharp edges, or she can dredge the distant past, pulling on your DNA to bring forward the longing of lineage. Crush the leaves, hold them to your nose. The past is encoded into our cellular memory. Rosemary whispers, sink into the knowledge that lives in your bones let memory rise up from the body of your being i almost want to say like 
Mallory or something. Let memory rise up. Rosemary. There's another song. Evil Interpol. Interpol evil. Rosemary. Um, that's very interesting because I believe it's undertow or it, it it is the uh the tool song, the tool band. And he talks about it's the way you whisper. There's so much about the whispering, whispering. So Paul Whiteman's in the 1920s, whispering, whispering. Hmm. The way you whisper. Okay. All right. Let's go to time and distill yourself. 34, the sevens. Did you, is that your, wasn't there another 34 or something? Maybe it was on that. Hmm. The time, good times, distill yourself. 34, more about magic, magic, the cars. Mythology teaches that a minotaur haunts the labyrinth of your psyche. Oh yeah, 46 into the shadow. As you walk toward your center, this monster prowls and roars, trying to scare you off your path by revealing your fears and inadequacies. But you're never truly alone. You have allies like time. Her scent purifying your thoughts so you can see what's true. Time kills off what's other. Whether that's germs and microbes or thoughts and feelings, this is time special magic. She calls your inner flame to burn the dross, distilling your spirit intuitively. She knows you. You are just a part of me, right? You are just a part of me. There's tool again, okay? Hmm. The timing, even. The Fibonacci, lateralis, whatever. Powerful plant, do not call on her unless you're truly ready to be tempered in her flame. Numa, spirit. Hmm. Breath. And this is also, I see this with this green fluorite, okay? Um, of is this mine okay libras and understanding with time those things wear off and you realize what was someone else's energy or influence but there's always this remembrance the crow hmm. all right so now Let's go to the crystals. All right, so green fluorite. I open it up to hematite and getting anchored and grounded. The twos, green fluorite, perfect. All right, 19, 419. When emotions wash over you, green fluorite wants you to ask, is this mine? When you feel ill or in pain, Green fluorite gives the same directive. Get still and ask yourself, is this mine? All of us take on energy from the world around us. That's a price of being a part of this glorious web of life. Our invisible tendrils are always reaching out, tasting and sampling. The boundaries of self can get amorphous and blurry as we take in nutrients, emotions, toxins, pathogens, sunlight, all sorts of things from beyond ourselves. Green Florent reminds you to sort through the stuff that's incoming. See what serves your highest good and let the rest go. Mm. So even dealing with Aries or your home family, Cancer, Capricorn, your career. Okay, Libras. Um, very interesting. What? There was a blurry face. What is that song? 21 Pilots. I can't remember the name of the song. But he talks about just blurry face and I care what people think. Something like that. <laughs> Envi envisioning the future. All right. Oh, there's a celestial quartz in this one. I saw that again and that one was very... That's kind of a new one. Okay, the, the precious opal. This is even change, right? But and envisioning this future... It, for even children or about childhood, romance, fun, that Leo energy, um, even with 
Gemini, communication, taking action, your home, family, cancer, energy, whatever. I'm just telling you all of them that I see with this. Were the ancient oracles always accurate? Accurate? Uh, nope. Because time is fluid. Opal knows making the prophecy business rather risky. But when the priestess of Delphi donned opals, their ability to make sense of the swirling waters of what is to come sharpened. Unlike most stones, opal knows how to hold and work with water. And that represents emotions, right? She feels the ways in which the waters of time can be channeled or dammed, creating different outcomes and new visions. Mm. So it's also seeing the different pathways of different things and understanding that time is fluid and, you know, so especially if you're dealing with certain emotions or something right and moving them to different things any even regarding like i feel like irrigation do you know what i mean irrigation stopping your channels and then putting the irrigation on different things to be nurtured watered i'm the waterer just so y'all know that's my main my main <laughs> thing i water I cook too. I don't, you know, I do all those other things, but I'm the waterer. That's what I really say. I'm the wanderer. The water. Interesting. Hmm. All right. That's how the future emerges out, right? Choose your road and name your path. Future is not a fixed destination. Naming the pathways you might walk to get there begins to craft what comes next. Right? You got to see the different pathways and options and clearly they're not all going to give to the same de destination even in the maze hmm very very interesting okay libras that was fascinating it is 27 minutes and i'm going to virgos so virgos if you are just jumping here thank you so much i'm not going to tell you but you can see the rosemary the remembrance um it was part of the Libras, but it might be remembering even you or vice versa. Uh, maybe there's family and ripple. Dang! Grateful Dead, Ripple, and the self heal. I'm giving music and songs. Anyways, one of my favorites. Hmm. This ripple outward. outward. You see, there's like this one pebble. And we also have the garnet. And lessons in blood. That's just what's under there. These are the crystallary and herbaries okay for the virgos virgos in specific just a couple oh we got a whole bunch forbidden apple we're starting with so you've been holding yourself back or this asked you what is it that you have been holding yourself back from that you've considered forbidden taboo or something um and maybe there is clearly, I mean, if it is, feels, doesn't feel good to you and your soul, then don't do it clearly. But if there's something that the rest of the world, something that you've been holding yourself back from even Amber, Amber, you got Amber again. Okay. Virgos, do you know Amber? Are you Amber? What are you becoming? The forbidden, look at the color scheme, the golden, the browns, the grounding that actually that golden. So the uh, solar. This joy, your your gut. There's this pause of what are you becoming? See the star, the seeds. Apples are good for you. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, but there's because of the Bible and certain things like that, right, or whatever, it's got somehow got interlinked with a forbidden thing, but um, or something you've forbidden yourself from doing, right? But that's the whole thing. Ask yourself why, like, and maybe dig a little deeper to it, and maybe that's the whole thing. It, it feels like temptation or something that you it goes against tradition or I don't know. It's just maybe it's something you want to eat that you've forbidden yourself from having. Some honey. I don't know. What are you becoming? This is a pause even. Recognize what is yours and let the rest go, right? That's what even regarding Libra or partnership, inner transformation. There's a Sagittarius energy, AAs. The A's, maybe something about alcohol even. I don't know. But Apple. 
apple cider vinegar, the amber. Mm. Okay, we have blue topaz as well. So being soft and listen. So now we've gone from these beautiful goldens to this blue and purple. Being soft and listening. There's a lot of, maybe see what's, the fingers that have all this palmistry is right there. Maybe seeing all these little details. Maybe you love palmistry. You're really intrigued with this. Uh, the middle finger is the Saturn. <laughs> you can see it. It shows you here. Taurus is the pointer, right? Gemini too. <sighs> Where's Libra's? Libra's pinky. Pinky's up, guys. <laughs> just get you Scorpio and Sag too. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just, that's what's popping for me with these. Blue topaz, be soft and listen. So the other video that I just did got the the golden to topaz and it was like so much abundance. This is calm though. Take distill yourself. Be soft and listen. So going out, getting away from other people, maybe being out in nature, um, and just listening, you know, to literally the air, the birds the bugs, whatever sounds, the city, whatever, the cars driving past, whatever you hear, you know, just listening and breathe in your trueness, lapidolite, mm. lithium. I'm always going to say lithium because it has, it actually has lithium in it. It's a beautiful lavender. Sometimes there's mica in it and it's, it's shiny, but then the unicorn. So I feel like there's a guidance to bring in unicorns for Virgos, okay? All right, Virgos. This is about balancing those emotions even too. Um, breathe in your trueness and this uniqueness. The pedalite is so pretty. Right, I'm just going to flow it back through here. We've got pocket of protection, yarrow. I'm probably not going to read all of these because Sony came out just like... I didn't read all the crystals. Exuberant quietude, passion flower. Ooh, look at those, how they go together with the purple and the green and the blues. And then creating space, raspberry, the forbidden fruit. Something you've been holding yourself back from. Unicorns, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I see, once again, I'm seeing sage. Ooh, clearing the way. Yarrow. Yarrow is a pocket of protection. It's like the gloves. It's like wearing gloves with this because maybe even wearing gloves with certain things. Saging, clearing the way out. A lot of the birds, air sign. What are you becoming? Where? Well, interesting. Okay. Wow. Oh, goodness. Um, Virgos, I think because there was unicorn there, I'm going to jump to unicorn first. Soul satisfaction. Honor your uniqueness. Do what makes you feel good. Even regarding your own children, your home. Leo energy there, gay Virgos, but doesn't have to be the 23, even that cusp sign energy. You could be that Virgo Libra cusp sign energy, and it's very specific. This is about home, creating that space even. You see, like, the birds are, the raspberries, like, bend, and then they have all these delicious fruits on them. Maybe using, maybe the, the fruit is being spotlighted, apples and raspberries. Maybe use, mixing those combinations. I don't know. It's very interesting, but. And then the unicorns, uniqueness. Do what makes you feel good. I see the rainbow spotlighted there, right? Your pure intention, 223. Mm. Seven, inner transformation. Finding clarity and surrendering your ego, even about what you value, what you spend your money on, uh, regarding maybe even a Taurus or this is a shift from Aquarius what, to Capricorn? No. What's 223? Why is my brain all on? Pisces? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Or Libra. Whatever. I mean, Pisces are opposite, so eh. Maybe it's very specific, okay? That was just what I saw under there for Virgos. I'm just going to get a little bit because I don't want this to go long. It's 34, 34. The sevens again. 26. Violet flame. All right. Invoke the cosmic diamond violet flame. Transmute all that is not love. 
all right? Even with this purple, this is really about your thoughts, your thinking. If there's wisdom with that, turning it into love, letting go of that hatred or anger. See, the purple starts turning more lavender, softer. Breathing in your trueness. Caring community, 2625, nice. Pocket of protection, maybe even dealing with Libras or partnership. Doesn't have to be Libra, but can be partnership. The lot of sevens, inner transformation, the 25, 87, receiving something, participate and belong, enrich your life, a belonging. Wow. I like circling around the bonfire, clearing the way, burning sage, like burning stuff up. There's a pocket of protection, like they're surrounding something, it's protecting it at the big full moon. Ooh, participate. You belong. <laughs> Maybe even dealing with, ooh, envisioning the future. The fire opal. No, now that was the Libra energy, but I'm seeing a lot of sevens. There was a lot of seven, seven too with that. But so there's also some Leo. Maybe they're a child. Um, or there's, might be Aquarius. Mm, all right. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, Virgos. Be soft and listen. Be a beacon of light. Be an inspiration. Light the way for others. The nines. Higher. Lift people higher, right? Like, even um, long distance. Like, higher spirituality. Even religious stuff. New cultures. Um, learn, letting people learn how to let go through life with certain things look like people going through so many different things everyone has a unique little journey and struggles but we all going to go through something right and then you can also find unique people that are going through the same type of things whatever lift people with hope healing virgos 925 that's kind of libra energy too but maybe it's eight nine no that's leo hmm still in yourselves taking the time all right passion flower and quietude interesting the i like that the crystals are with the passion flower well you're getting a lot you're you personal your passion flower is a bathe in pure love stay open to the unicorn magic the passion flower stay open one nine one so especially virgos and nine one nine two now we're gonna flow right through <laughs> find clarity surrender your ego even with this communication getting calm two six live in the now seize the moment okay i am the i am violet flame i almost said violet femmes that's really weird okay nine four nine eight the 44 expand your stellar stellar gateway I am that I am. Do you know what I am? 626 and 68. Hmm, even communication. Entering the magic. And then a shower of blessings with this. Paying it forward. Open yourself to receive. Even participate and belong. Look, it's like fun. It's like just like trading gifts even like a white elephant gift or anything like that something like that sharing things paying it forward 24 25 6 7 maybe something especially happens even tomorrow i mean i'm doing the 6 6 but whatever and the 21 the crystal cave switch on your inner light bring forward your gifts even in the silence, like there's the purple, you see there's the key with the crystals, with the gifts, the amethyst, um, being a beacon of light, um, being soft and listening, taking the time that was with Libra energy or partnership. So now we got 921. That's like cusp energy. That's what I'm saying. So maybe it's very specific for cuspers, hey, but whatever. Um... That's beautiful. That's even a lot of dreaminess. There's communication. Threes are spotlighted. Hmm. 
121, maybe even. Let's see. With Pisces, 231. And Capricorn, Aquarius. Huh. All right, one final one, the freedom of truth. No way. So uh, the 12, like I was saying, a three, communicating honestly. Be who you truly are, Virgos. Communication. So this is that Pisces energy, that dreaminess. Even you have gifts to bring forward. Magical crystal cave. Um, I would grab more for you, but it's getting long. So stick around and I'll be pulling more crystals and berries and mushrooms and who knows what else. Okay, communicate clearly and honestly, even with your people in your community, maybe even, um, I mean, there's this Pisces energy with it. So dreaminess, even this is like, connected with, you know, love, compassion, unicorn, magic, blessings, hope, healing, whatever, wisdom, creativity, children, a key. I, that's very interesting. The unicorns spotlighting the crystals being a key. A creative solution, even. Diamond. I never paid attention that there is a diamond shining. Or maybe it's just a quartz, whatever. Cubics weren't, whatever. But it's shining on this. Ooh. Giving a crystal or something. Whatever. I don't know. But you, I'm saying, my arse will see like a chrys chrysanthemum. This is Diana Cooper, by the way. Her Magic of Unicorns, very beautiful. And she also has like a dragon. I think she might have a fairy deck too, but I am. That is it, Virgos and Libras. Very fascinating. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.